If you need more living space, a finished basement may be a great option. But without adequate insulation, it's difficult to heat and cool a basement effectively. Owens Corning Formular Extruded Polystyrene, or XPS, is an easy-to-install, efficient solution for insulating basement walls. Before you tackle the insulation project, you will need to be certain that the basement is dry, with no leakage from the walls or floors. Flat walls are easier to work with. You should also seal and insulate the band joists before getting started. You'll find two options for installation in this video. One uses adhesive, while the other attaches the Formular boards to the walls with screws. You can use either Formular 150 or 250 square edge insulation on your basement walls. Both are available in a range of sizes. A sales associate at your home center store can help you choose the right product. You may also need additional tools and materials depending on the type of installation you'll be doing. We'll review those as we go through each installation option. Safety should always be your top priority. You'll need full coverage safety glasses and cut-resistant gloves at a minimum. Formular is extremely easy to cut to a size that will fit. Just carefully mark your cutting lines on the Formular boards with a felt tip pen and a straight edge. Then score the cut with a utility knife. Position the scored line on the edge of a table or board and snap down to cleanly break the board at the score. Before insulating the ceiling of your basement or crawl space, you should seal the band joist. This will eliminate much of the passage of outside air into the basement or crawl space. Formular is an excellent choice for this purpose. Cut the material one quarter inch smaller than the opening. Secure with an adhesive that is compatible with XPS foam and then seal any remaining gaps with Owens Corning Pro-Pink Polyurethane Spray Foam. Formular should be installed from the basement floor right to the top plate board, which will be the top of your wall once it's been framed out. Cut the boards or add an additional piece as needed. If the board won't lie flat against the wall, use shims as necessary. Using an adhesive that is compatible with XPS foam, attach the panels to the basement wall. Trim around obstacles as necessary. Use scrap boards or other pieces to hold the formula tightly in place until the adhesive is cured. This may take several hours. Once the adhesive has cured, fill any remaining gaps with Owens Corning Pro Pink 1 or a similar spray polyurethane foam. Then you can frame out the wall. The framing can be in contact with the formular. You can install EcoTouch pink fiberglass insulation between the wall studs if a higher level of insulation is desired. Then finish by installing gypsum drywall. Begin by marking the formular for three fasteners. Use a good drill with a hammering function and a concrete drill bit of the correct size for the concrete screws you're using. Drill a hole in each location you marked on the wall. Cut the formular as necessary and trim around any obstacles. If the boards won't lay flat, use shims as necessary. Install formular with screws and caps. Fill any remaining gaps with Owens Corning Pro Pink 1 or a similar spray polyurethane foam. Finish the project by building the framed wall right up next to the formular. You can install EcoTouch pink fiberglass insulation between the wall studs if a higher level of insulation is desired. Then finish by installing gypsum drywall. By following this video and the information in our printed installation instructions, you'll find that Owens Corning Formular is an easy to install, efficient solution for insulating basement walls. For additional information, visit owenscorning.com or call 1-800-GET-PINK.